You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations and good wishes to Mauritanian President Mohammed Wald Abdul Aziz on his country's Independence Day. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa held today a Glebia Palace joint talks and a business lunch with the Sultan and ruler of Malaysia's Johor State, His Majesty Sultan Ibrahim ibn al Marhum Sultan Iskandar. His Majesty reviewed with the guest means of strengthening bilateral relations as well as commercial and economic cooperation through initiating joint projects and exchanging official visits for the benefit of both countries and their people. His Majesty expressed his aspiration that the visit would widen the horizons of cooperation as well as bilateral cultural and touristic communication. He Affirmed that the kingdom's strategic location and the facilities it provides for investors and businessmen has made it a leading destination for global companies. His Majesty noted the deep rooted history and civilization of Bahrain and Malaysia and the two countries' keenness on developing cooperation at all levels. Their Majesties asserted the importance of increasing partnership opportunities between businessmen and the private sector to bolster bilateral relations. For his part, His Majesty Sultan Ibrahim praised the development of the kingdom at all levels under the leadership of His Majesty the King. He expressed pride in the positive results of his visit to Bahrain and the talks he held with His Majesty expressing thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his invitation and the warm reception he received. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa in the presence of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa held a meeting yesterday evening with Sultan and ruler of Malaysia's Johor State, His Majesty Sultan Ibrahim bin Marhum Sultan Iskandar upon his visit to the kingdom. His Majesty welcomed the kingdom's guests and hailed his visit which reflects the development of bilateral relations. His Majesty Sultan Ibrahim thanked His Majesty the King for the invitation and the warm welcome and hospitality he received. The meeting was attended by a number of officials from both sides and discussed bilateral relations and ways to further develop them in addition to a number of issues of common concern. His Majesty the King expressed Bahrain's pride in the development of the Bahraini-Malaysian relations in all fields under the wise leadership of both countries. His Majesty the King hailed the development of Malaysia's Johor State under the leadership of His Majesty Sultan Ibrahim, affirming Bahrain's keenness to enhance joint bilateral cooperation for the benefit of both countries and their people. His Majesty also hailed Malaysia's leading role on the Asian and global levels on its economic, industrial and development achievements. His Majesty praised the results of his latest visit to Malaysia, which played an important role in bolstering bilateral cooperation and expressed appreciation for the Malaysian leadership's keenness to boost relations with Bahrain, wishing that His Majesty Sultan Ibrahim's visit will bolster bilateral ties. For his part, His Majesty Sultan Ibrahim praised the efforts of His Majesty the King in developing Bahraini-Malaysian relations, wishing them ties further prosperity. His Majesty the King held a dinner banquet in honor of the Kingdom's guest.
His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Prime Minister, sent a cable of congratulations and good wishes to Mauritanian President Mohamed Bouabdil Abdul Aziz on his country's Independence Day. His Royal Highness the Premier also sent a similar congratulatory cable to Mauritania's Prime Minister Yahya Ould Hadmin, wishing the Mauritanian people more progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness uh, Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued a circular stipulating the official holiday on the Prophet's birthday anniversary. The Kingdom's ministries, directorates and official institutions will close on Thursday, November the 30th, corresponding to 12th of Rabi' al-Awwal, 1439 Hijri, marking the birthday of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa met today with Sultan and ruler of Malaysia's Johor State, His Majesty Sultan Ibrahim bin Marhum Sultan Iskandar. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister noted the importance of His Majesty Sultan Ibrahim's visit to Bahrain and reinforcing brotherly relations with the kingdom, highlighting the pioneering role of His Majesty in the national success of Malaysia and supporting efforts to preserve security and stability in the world. His Majesty Sultan Ibrahim commended Bahrain's development in all fields, which reflect success of the government, led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister in laying down a solid foundation for a brighter future. He confirmed that he will direct the Malaysian officials to make use of Bahrain's developmental experience. His Royal Highness expressed satisfaction about the existing cooperation between Bahrain and Malaysia's Johor state that is already witnessing further progress. He affirmed the importance of increasing exchange to official visits to explore opportunities of collaboration, especially in investment and commercial projects to meet the aspirations of both countries and people. He praised Malaysia's comprehensive development across all fields, which turned into an inspirational model for development among Asian countries. For his part, the Kingdom's guest lauded the efforts of His Royal Highness in reinforcing bilateral relations, noting his contribution to strengthening collaboration between Gulf Cooperation Council countries and Asian. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Libya Palace today the Philippines President's Special Envoy to the Gulf and the Middle East region, Dr. Mabigal Aguilis. The guests conveyed to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister the greetings of the Philippines President Rodrigo Duterte and His Royal Highness asked Dr. Aguilis to convey his greetings to the President and for the people of the Philippines for further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness highlighted the development in bilateral relations and joint cooperation in all fields based on mutual respect and bonds of friendship which reflect the deep-rooted ties between the two countries' leaderships and people. He noted Bahrain's keenness to expand fields of cooperation with the Philippines, especially in the economic, commercial and investment sectors to serve mutual interests. He recalled the visit of the Philippines president to Bahrain last April, which witnessed joint talks and agreements that reinforced bilateral collaboration. The Prime Minister called on intensifying official visits between the two countries to open new fields of cooperation and serve the best interests of both countries and people. For his part, Dr. Aguiles thanked His Royal Highness for his care to boost joint cooperation, affirming his country's keenness to strengthen bilateral relations with Bahrain based on the historic relations of friendship and understanding.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting at Glebia Palace. He congratulated His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa on the occasion of the Prophet's birthday anniversary, wishing him, the kingdom and its people, further progress and prosperity in the Arab and Islamic world, many happy returns. The cabinet welcomed the visit of the Sultan and ruler of Malaysia's Johor State, His Majesty Sultan Ibrahim bin Al Marhum Sultan Iskandar, upon receiving an invitation from His Majesty the King. The cabinet added that the visit will further the Bahraini Malaysian relations and bolster bilateral operation. The cabinet wished the guests and the accompanying delegation a pleasant stay in the kingdom. The role of Jewelry Arabia exhibition was also praised as one of the leading exhibitions thanks to the patronage of His Rohanis the Prime Minister for more than 25 years. The cabinet noting that the event creates a commercial investment and touristic environment that supports the exhibition's industry and promotes investment opportunities. A report presented by the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism stated that the exhibition witnessed an increase in the number of visitors by 4% compared to the previous edition. On the occasion of the Bahraini Women Day, which takes place on the 1st of December, the cabinet recalled the achievements of Bahraini women in the political, economic and social march of the kingdom, commending the efforts of the Supreme Council for Women under the presidency of Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa. After that, the cabinet condemned a terrorist attack at Al Rawda Mosque in North Sinai Governorate in Egypt, which resulted in the martyrdom and injury of hundreds of Muslim worshippers, adding that the abhorrent massacre only reflects an extremist ideology. The cabinet expressed his deep condolences to the president and people of Egypt, wishing the injured a speedy recovery. It reiterated Bahrain's supportive stance to the measures taken by Egypt to protect its security and to eradicate terrorism. The cabinet welcomed the concluding statement of the first meeting of defense ministers of the Islamic Military Counterterrorism Coalition to combat terrorism recently held in Riyadh, which affirmed the necessity to counter terrorism by all means. His Royal Highness the Premier followed up on the outcomes of the visit to cities and villages His Royal Highness directed to conduct, including Diraz, Budaya, Bani Jamra, Al Graya, Um Al Hassam, Hura, Glebiya, Galali, Sitra, and Nabi Saleh. The cabinet reviewed the completed electricity, water, and social security and insurance services. New water systems were built in Sitra, Nabi Saleh, and Janusan, while old water systems got replaced and the distribution network systems were developed in the rest of the previously mentioned cities and villages. The implementation of water networks for housing projects was completed, and preventive and emergency maintenance and detection of invisible leaks were also carried out. As for electricity services, they include the construction of several electricity power stations and the expansion of the capacity of stations and projects to strengthen electricity networks and provide lighting for roads, including the installation and maintenance of new lighting poles, as well as projects aimed at reducing the number and duration of interruptions. With regards to labor and social services, three employment offices were opened and four employment fairs were held. Two model social centers are being constructed and planning is underway for a new comprehensive social center, while lands are being allocated for the construction of an elderly daycare center. The remaining requests are under consideration by the Ministerial Committee for Reconstruction and Infrastructure. His Royal Highness the Premier directed to develop roads and infrastructure in Sanabas by repaving and developing intersections, establishing a rainwater drainage network and providing sidewalks for pedestrians. The cabinet approved the renewal of Bahrain's terrorism list by adding four entities and 22 individuals on the joint statement issued by the Kingdom of Bahrain, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates and Egypt on October the 25th and November the 22nd in which it announced the following. The entities are Al Rahma Charitable Society from Yemen, Al Khair Supermarket from Yemen, International Islamic Council, International Union of Muslim Scholars. The individuals are Naif Saleh Salem Al Qaisi from Yemen, Abdul Wahab Mohammed Abdul Wahab Al Hamid Ghani from Yemen, Hashim Mohammed Idrus, Yemeni, Nashwan Al Adani, Yemeni, Khaled Abdullah Saleh, Yemeni, Saif Al Arab Salem Al Hashi, Yemeni, Adil Abdul Athman Al Dhanabi, Yemeni, Rodwan Mohammed Hussein, Yemeni, Wali Nashwan Al Yafi, Yemeni, Khaled Saeed Al Ubaidi, Yemeni, Bilal Ali Al Wafi, Yemeni, Khaled Nazam Diab, Salem Jabir Umar Ali Sultan, Muyasser Ali Musa Abdullah Al Jaburi, Mohammed Ali Saeed Atam, Hassan Ali Mohammed Jum'a Sultan, Mohammed Suleiman Haider, Mohammed Al Haider, Mohammed Jamal Ahmed Hishmet Abdul Hamid, Mahmoud Azza Ibrahim Isa, Yahya Mahmoud Azza Ibrahim Isa, Mohammed Fahmi Mahmoud Al Sheikh, Allah Ali Ali Mohammed, 
The cabinet approved an MOU on strengthening cooperation in ecosystems of small and medium-sized projects between Bahrain's Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism and the United States of America's Small Business Administrations. The cabinet discussed the ratification of the accession of Bahrain to the Mutual Administrative Assistance Agreement on Taxation and the accession of Bahrain to the Multilateral Agreement among Specialized Authorities on the Automatic Exchange of Financial Account Information, which was signed by Bahrain in June of 2017. The cabinet appointed the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs to take the necessary constitutional and legal procedures. The cabinet discussed a number of proposals regarding the allocation of a club designed to suit women's activities in Galali, providing the needs of fishermen in Mharag and on roads in Senabas. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations and good wishes to Mauritanian President Hamad with Abdul Aziz on his country's Independence Day, wishing the brotherly Mauritanian people more development and growth. The Sultan and ruler of Malaysia's Johor State, His Majesty Sultan Ibrahim ibn al-Marhum Sultan Iskandar, visited today the Ministry of Interior Headquarters. Upon arrival, the Guards of Honor greeted His Majesty Sultan Ibrahim and he was received by His Majesty the King's personal representative and chairman of the Supreme Council for Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad al-Khalifa and the Interior Minister, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah al-Khalifa. السلام السلطاني لولاية جهور أقليم دار التعظيم سلام Following the Johor State Anthem, a parade was held to greet His Majesty Sultan Ibrahim, followed by a field demonstration showing the officer's outstanding readiness and competence.
نار نار تعظيم After that, a meeting was held during which the Chief Minister delivered a speech welcoming the visit of His Majesty Sultan Ibrahim of Johor. Your Majesty, Your Royal Highness, Excellencies, it is a great pleasure to welcome Your Majesty Sultan Ibrahim Ibn al Marhum Sultan Iskandar, Sultan of Johor. And on behalf of all the personnel of the Ministry of Interior, may I say how happy we are that Your Majesty has joined us here today. In the presence of His Royal Highness, Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, personal representative of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Our surroundings here in the police fort in Manam reflect the long and distinguished history of Bahrain's police. Established almost a century ago in 1919 and considered one of the oldest government institutions in the kingdom. Indeed, Bahrain has long been a pioneer in establishing and developing modern state institutions. With this ministry in the vanguard of the process. This process has developed rapidly during the reign of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, with Bahrain today considered to be a beacon of reform and modernization. Over the past decade and a half, the reform process initiated and led by His Majesty has brought groundbreaking political, economic, and social developments. And once again, the ministry has been at the forefront of these developments. From our community police service established in 2004 and staffed by local community recruits from all parts of society, to the courage 
and bravery of our personnel to our internationally recognized transparency and oversight mechanisms. However, the Ministry of Interior has always shown itself to be a pioneer of effective, transparent, responsive, and accountable service. We will continue to develop in line with the latest best practice and the security of our country and society. And we recognize that evolving global security challenges are not confined to a single country or region, and that an effective response to these challenges requires genuine international cooperation. You can therefore be assured that we in the Ministry of Interior of the Kingdom of Bahrain are committed and extending and strengthening our security cooperation with friends and allies across the world to ensure a better future for all our nations and peoples. Your Majesty, Your Royal Highness, it is a great privilege to welcome Your Majesty here today. And I know I speak for all Ministry of Interior personnel in expressing our sincere appreciation for this visit and in wishing Your Majesty a pleasant, constructive, and successful visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain. Thank you, sir. The Minister of Interior then presented His Majesty Sultan Ibrahim with a commemorative gift.